Good day. In this video, we're going to work out the areas of these two shapes. We're going to use thirds, multiply, and plus. We're not allowed to use a calculator, and this is where thirds is applied in questions. Please look at the videos that say thirds multiply, thirds plus and minus, thirds simplify, if you lose me along the way. The first question asks, work out the area of this rectangle without using a calculator. Firstly, we write down the formula for the area of a rectangle. The area equals length times breadth. Then we fill in the length and the breadth and times them. Like I said, we fill in the two distances they gave us. doesn't matter which one goes which side. You don't have to worry which is the longer or the shorter one. You prime factorize the numbers that can prime factorize under the thirds. You write each prime number with his own third. Keep the two outside. The root of two times the root of 2 will give me the root of 4. The root of 3 times the root of 3 will give me the root of 9. We'll keep square root of 5 and keep the 2. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. Keep the 2 and keep the square root of 5 and times this out. This will give me 12 square root of 5. Square units. They did not tell us whether this was centimeters, meters or anything, so we just write square units when we work with area. The area of this rectangle is then 12 root 5 square units. Now we're going to work out the area of this shape. It is made up of two rectangles. I'm going to start to work out the area of the first rectangle which I call number 1. The area of number 1 is length times breadth. You fill in the two numbers they gave us, the length and the breadth. It doesn't matter which one in which side. This is the breadth, this is the length. You prime factorize any third that wants to. So this 10 breaks up into square root of 5 times square root of 2. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 gives you 5. Square root of 2 you just keep. So the answer to this question is 5 square root 2. The area of rectangle 1 is 5 square root 2. I'm not going to go for the units yet. Now we're going to work out the area of the second rectangle over here. So the area of the second rectangle is also length times breadth. I fill in the two numbers they gave me. The length is square root of 24 and the breadth is square root of 3. doesn't matter which way around you write it. Then you simplify these thirds by multiplying them. You break up the square root of 24 into its prime factors and put a square root over each one of them. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 will give me a 3. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 will give me a 2. And I'll just keep the square root of 2 behind. So the final answer will be 6 square root of 2. The area of this second rectangle is 6 square root of 2. Now to find the area of this whole shape, we will add the area of 1 and the area of 2, which is 5 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 2. That will be 11 square root of 2 units square. The total area of this sketch with the two rectangles is 11 square root of 2 square units. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video. If you have any school mathematics related question that you have a problem with, you can send that question with a WhatsApp photo to this number, then we will try and solve it and send back an answer to you as soon as possible for free. Enjoy mathematics!